In this video, we will review the NI MyDAC and how to use it with LabVIEW for Education software. MyDAC is a general purpose data collection device that allows you to connect almost any kind of sensor or circuit to your computer using LabVIEW. MyDAC is USB powered, which means you won't need to connect a power cord to use it. Just plug it into your computer. Right away, we can start using MyDAC without writing any code by opening the Elvis MX Instrument Launcher. This allows you to access pre-written programs for the most common applications. The DMM button will launch a digital multimeter, which includes a voltmeter, current meter, as well as many other common tools. Connect the probes to the voltage inputs and you can use your virtual multimeter right out of the box. Elvis MX also gives you unprecedented access to powerful engineering tools like an oscilloscope or digital logic analyzer. MyDAC has many virtual instruments built in, but you can harness the power of LabVIEW to create your own virtual instrument interface using the inputs on the side of MyDAC. If you want to process a sound from a microphone, MP3 player, or even an electric guitar, you can use the audio port on the side to connect a standard computer microphone as well as headphones. In addition to the audio ports, you can read into other analog sensors that are between negative 10 and positive 10 volts by connecting through the analog inputs. You can use the analog inputs to read in sensors like a potentiometer, a brightness sensor, or even an accelerometer for measuring movement. The eight digital ports on the end allow you to connect to buttons, switches, and LEDs, or light-emitting diodes. You can choose which ports to use as inputs and outputs so you can easily add on-off signals to your MyDAC. If you need to test or configure your MyDAC, use Measurement and Automation Explorer to do things like change the device name. Once you connect your MyDAC, you can read or write any signal using LabVIEW. To get started, we will make a VI that will read in the audio signal and display it on the screen. On the block diagram, we can right-click and browse to the DAC Assistant. This will allow us to connect to the MyDAC. Drop the DAC Assistant on the block diagram and it will automatically open up a configuration tool. For input, we will select Acquire Signal. For output, you can select Generate Signals. In this case, we would select Acquire, then Analog to read the sound signal. Next, we need to select the signal type. This is very useful if you're reading a standard sensor for temperature or vibration, but in this case, we just want to read the raw voltage signal. Finally, we need to choose which channels we want to read. Since we set this assistant to read an analog input, it shows us the five available inputs. Here, we just want to read the left channel of the audio input port, but you can select more than one channel by holding control. Click Finish to create your DAC assistant. Once you have set the basic information, you can configure the signal attributes and test your connection. For MyDAC audio inputs and outputs, we need to set the max and min voltages to positive and negative 2 volts. For sound signals, we want to read the signal continuously, so we need to change the acquisition mode from one sample, where the DAC assistant reads one value at a time, to continuous samples, where we will get a smooth audio signal. Click OK to close the window. Since we selected continuous samples, LabVIEW will automatically ask us if we want to use a loop. Click Yes. LabVIEW automatically created a loop and a stop button so the DAC assistant will run over and over until we press stop. We want to show the signal on the screen, so let's right click on the front panel, go to the graph palette, and select the waveform chart. Now we just need to connect the data output from the DAC assistant to the waveform chart terminal. We've got it all set up, so now we can run the VI and see the signal from my voice on the chart. You can use this exact same method to read in any signal using MyDAC, whether it's an MP3 player or a motion sensor. For more examples and ideas, be sure to check out k12lab.com, where you can find all kinds of uses for MyDAC in and out of the classroom.